Greetings. I'm relaxing on this island beach. Now, I've been to a few beaches before, but not on an island. Speaking of islands, today I'm going to review Moana. And let me tell you something amazing. The title is The Name of My Girlfriend. Will the magic of Disney translate well in Polynesian, or will the movie end up being all washed up? Let's take the plunge into the movie The Love of My Life stars in. Wishing I was knee deep in the water somewhere Got the blue sky breeze and it don't seem fair Only worry in the world is the tide gonna reach my chair Sunrise, there's a fire in the sky Never been so happy, never felt so high And I think I might have found me my own kind of paradise The Story Story time Now I think most of you should know this this is about an adventurous teenager who sails out on a daring mission to save her people. During her journey, Moana meets the once mighty demigod Maui who guides her in her quest to become a master wayfinder. Together, they sail across the open ocean on an action-packed voyage encountering enormous monsters and impossible odds. Along the way, Moana fulfills the ancient quest of her ancestors and discovers the one thing she always sought, her own identity. The movie started by telling the entire plot in just a few minutes in the form of a legend. It also gave us a good balance of action and songs. Also, it's not just about a journey. It's also about the relationship between Moana and Maui and how they need to learn from one another in order to understand how important their mission is for the sake of her people. The Animation I'm now going over the animation and I wish Maui's tattoo would assist me with this. Young Moana helps a turtle walk across the sand by holding a palm frond over his head. This mirrors a similar image from the 2002 film Lilo and Stitch. Villagers are seen beating a rug which resembles the magic carpet from the 1992 film Aladdin. During the song How Far I'll Go, Pua ended up under a rug that had the exact same design as the magic carpet from the 1992 film Aladdin. When Moana sits up in the sand at Maui's island, the scene was copied from Disney's Frozen as the animators used the exact same scene as when Anna wakes up in her bedroom. In Maui's song, You're Welcome, he picks a coconut and rolls it down his arm and uses his elbow to flip it up to Moana the same way Aladdin does with an apple for Jasmine in Aladdin. Flounder Ariel's sidekick in the 1989 film The Little Mermaid makes an appearance in the background sketch graphic during the song You're Welcome. The whole Kakamora chase sequence alludes to the 2015 film Mad Max Fury Road. The monster with the back spike seen in the realm of monsters that resemble Godzilla is actually Marshmallow the Snow Monster from the 2013 film Frozen. When he first gets his hook and is trying to shapeshift, Maui changes into various animals. For a split second, he turns into Sven the Reindeer from Frozen. This is the first full-length computer animated feature film to be written and directed by John Musker and Ron Clements, who were responsible for directing The Great Mouse Detective, The Little Mermaid, Aladdin, Hercules, Treasure Planet, and The Princess and the Frog, all of which were predominantly in hand-drawn animation. When it was initially rumored that Moana would be made in the hand-drawn slash computer animated technique Neander, introduced with Disney's short film Paper Man 2012, Musker said that it is far too early to apply the Paper Man hybrid technique to a feature. The Meander digital in-betweening interface still has a host of production issues, 
including color, that need to be perfected. Besides, the directors also stated that the environment, including the ocean, benefited much more from the use of CGI as opposed to a traditional animation and that three-dimensional computer animation is naturally good at generating the sculpted faces of the people of the South Pacific. Maui's tattoos, on the other hand, are purely hand-drawn animated without the use of the meander. Although this is a computer animated film, Maui's tattoos are hand-drawn animated. This marks Moana as the first full-length Disney animated feature film since Winnie the Pooh from 2011 to feature pure hand-drawn animation. This is the second Disney animated feature film that's computer animated to use brief traditional animation at some point, mainly Maui's tattoos and the last verse of the You're Welcome song sequence. The first one was Bolt from 2008, where it used in the first half and at the end the closing credits, as well as during the map sequence of Bolt and Mittens traveling across each state. The Characters Let's discuss the characters. Starting off with my girlfriend, Moana is the teenage daughter of Chief Tuit and is brave and adventurous. She dreams of becoming a master wayfinder and has been drawn to the ocean ever since she was young and longs to see what's beyond the reef of her home island. She is so pretty, lovely, good-looking, beautiful, and gorgeous. Makes me want to hug her, squeeze her, love her, kiss her, hug her, squeeze her, love her, kiss her, love her, kiss her. Hugger, kiss her, I love her. Hugger, I love her. Kiss her, I love her. Hugger, squeeze her, kiss her, I love her. Ah! I gotta settle down. Ah. <sighs> Anyways, back to review. Maui is a boisterous demigod of the South Pacific that primarily serves mankind as an audacious hero and a guardian of mankind. He was born to human parents centuries before the events of the film. However, apparently wanting nothing to do with their son as they refused to bear the difficulties of raising a child, Maui's parents threw him into the sea as an infant and left for dead. He was saved by the gods who raised and granted Maui supernatural abilities, immortality, and a giant magical fish hook that allows him to shapeshift. He is voiced by Dwayne Johnson, who also voiced Charles T. Baker from Planet 51. It's actually Maui shapeshifter, demigod of the wind and sea, hero of men. I interrupted from the top, hero of men. Go. I'm Captain Charles T. Baker, astronaut. Chief Tewit is Moana's overprotective father and the chief of his tribe. The reason why he forbids sailing beyond the reef is because his friend died one time when he went sailing. Hey Hey is Moana's pet rooster who unintentionally joins her on quest to save the world. He is the dumb village idiot. When this clueless chicken accidentally stows away on Moana's canoe, he lands a row front row seat for her epic journey. And then there's Tamatoa, who is a giant crab obsessed with treasure. He is 50 feet tall and lives in the realm of monsters. This conceited crustacean wants to be more than a bottom feeder and overcompensates for this perceived shortcoming by covering himself in all things shiny. He is voiced by Jameen Clement, who also voiced Nigel the Cockatoo from Rio. It's a human. What are you doing down here in the realm of the months? Just pick an eye, babe. I can't, I can't concentrate on what I'm saying if you keep... Yeah, pick one. Pick one. Oh, I know I'm not a pretty birdie, but I used to be quite a looker. A star. Many of the characters are Pacific Island language names slash or words. Moana means ocean and blue in both Hawaiian and Maori. The Viani name that was used in European and Asian released means fresh water, so less fitting but still water-based. 
Hey hey means chicken in Maori. Pua, Moana's pet pig, means offspring or flower, and is also possibly short for pua a, meaning pig. Maui is the name of a Polynesian demigod and the second largest Hawaiian island. Tuwe is the name of a bird native to New Zealand, also home to Chief Tuwe's voice actor Timura Morrison. Tala, Moana's grandmother, means story and Samoan, due to the character telling the legend of Maui. Tefiti and Tika at the beginning of the movie, and is the name of the goddess of the stars in Tagalog mythology. Tamatoa means trophies in Maori. The original idea was for the film to branch away from the Disney princess template and focus entirely on Maui, with the story being a loose conglomeration of a few of the legends about him. Then the crew actually traveled to Polynesia and became so fascinated with the culture that Moana was created as the new focus character. This is the first Walt Disney Animation Studios film since Mulan from 1998 where a character's singing and speaking voice is done by different actors, in the case of Moana's father. The villager who suggests cooking Hey Hey is voiced by Alan Tuddy, who also provides Hey Hey's vocal effects. Hey Hey is voiced by Alan Tuddy, while Pua's vocalizations are sampled from real pigs, making this one of the few animated projects by Disney where neither Frank Welker nor D. Bradley Baker supply the animal vocal effects. Originally, Hey Hey was a smart animal and Disney was going to delete him from the movie. They lowered his IQ to bring the movie a funny aspect. Lynn Manuel Miranda has stated the character of Tamatoa the Giant Crab was a tribute to musician David Bowie. Tefiti slightly resembles the spring sprite from the Firebird Suite segment in Fantasia 2000, while Tika slightly resembles the Firebird that the sprite accidentally awakens. Like I said, my girlfriend is the star of this movie. Let me leave some reviews. As strange as it may sound, the movie is kind of based on a true story. According to archaeological evidence, the exploration of Western Polynesia had proceeded rather rapidly until about 900 BC when the progression appears to have had suddenly stopped for over a thousand years and then just as suddenly resumed with the entire Eastern Polynesia being colonized in just a few centuries. Although several plausible explanations exist, the exact cause for this long pause is somewhat of a mystery. The movie provides another, albeit fantastic explanation, divine punishment for stealing the heart of Tefiti. 2016 marks the first time since 2002 where two Disney animated feature films were released the same year, Lilo and Stitch and Treasure Planet for 2002, Zootopia came out eight months before Moana. This is the first Polynesian-themed Disney animated feature film since Lilo and Stitch from 2002, and the first film directed by John Musker and Ron Clements to have an oceanic setting since The Little Mermaid from 1989. And that's the end. Thank you for reviewing this movie with me. I know what you're going to say after this, or in this case, sing, what can I say except you're welcome. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to visit Moana and hang out with her, so I'll see you later. Knee deep in the water somewhere, got the blue sky breeze blowing wind through my hair. Only worry in the world is a tide gonna reach my chair. Sunrise, there's a fire in the sky Never been so happy, never felt so high And I think I might have found me my own kind of paradise Come on in the water's nice, find yourself a little slice Grab a backpack and lunch you never know until you try When you lose yourself, you find the key